Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. I think this is my fifth video today. Your girl is on a roll, so if you notice I got the same look, the same shirt on, you know why, because I batch filmed. So I'm winding down, cleaning up my room, putting stuff away, and I feel like I need to do another declutter. So I'm about to go through my primers, and this is something... I have not decluttered in a long time because primers are one of my favorite things. It's the hardest, so I don't like to get rid of them. Even if they're not good, even if I don't like them, I still keep them because that makes a lot of sense. So we're gonna get rid of some stuff. I am very particular about how my stuff is organized and it's starting to get to the point to where stuff is overflowing and I don't want that. So I'm gonna try to be harsh and get rid of stuff we all know what happens. I go back and forth, so we'll see. Before I get into the video, if you're new, please hit that subscribe button. If you love makeup, if you love beauty, hair, nails, a little bit of fitness, all the things that make us feel good, this is the channel for you. So if you want to see my primer collection and what I declutter, stay tuned and keep on watching. <laughs> All right, so this is the drawer where my primers are. Look at this drawer. <laughs> Don't judge me. Um, Yeah, so I just went through my concealers. I think the video's up. I'm not sure. Ugh, whatever. So these are primers right here. And then these are primers back here. And then there are some up here because I don't have room in there. So we're going to get rid of some of these. I need to get the ones that I have upstairs. I'm going to bring those down and we're just going to get to it. So let's go. We're going to start with what I have in my travel bag. I know these aren't going anywhere, but showing you guys my collection. So I guess these need to be counted. No, they don't. We're not talking about that yet. Um, showing you guys what I have in my collection. So I'm trying to include everything. Do I really only have one primer in here? Interesting. Okay, well that makes that easy. So first I have the One Size Beauty Secure the Blur Makeup Magnet Primer. I love this. This is in my travel bag for a reason. It is blurring. It is long lasting. Makes my foundation look good. So this is definitely a keeper. Next, this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer, Primer and Moisturizer. I know this is pretty old, but it says that once you open it, it's good for 24 months. I use this whenever I'm just doing like a quick makeup look or if I'm using a mattifying foundation. I don't want anything. I don't do mattifying primer and mattifying foundation anymore. My skin is normal, sometimes dry, so I can't do that. But I do use this. I've put a good dent in it. I'm going to keep this because I'm almost done with it and I feel like I probably have a backup somewhere of it. I have no idea, but I'm going to keep this one. Next, I have this Flower Beauty Supernova Celestial Priming Whipped Base. Y'all, this, honestly, I was just intrigued by because of it being very gimmicky. It is literally a mousse and it is so hard to get just a little bit of this out. So I feel like it's messy. I have tried it and while I like how glowy it is, like even that was too much. Um, while I like how glowy it is, I feel like it doesn't really, that is so pretty. I don't feel like it does anything else other than leave a bit of a glow. I don't feel like it helps my makeup stay, like any of that stuff, but this is why I struggle because I think it's pretty. So I don't know. I'm going to let this dry down. I'm going to stick it in the maybe pile because I did just get that within the past couple months. So I don't know that I'm ready to part ways with it. This is my La Mer, the Perfecting Primer. Love this. I use this most of the time for my um, foundation reviews when I'm doing a first impression. So definitely keeping this. Next, I have the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Perfector 4-in-1 Glowy Makeup. Now, I use this as a primer. I do not use this as a foundation. You can see it is very glowy, like this one. Um, 
And I've just been loving putting products like this under my foundation. This is also fairly new to my collection. So I'm going to keep this. This is in the shade 02. This is the Beauty Blender, the Leveler Pore Minimizing Primer. This is still on sale at Sephora. I feel like I might've picked up a backup. I have a problem. Um, I really like this one because it does a very good job of filling in your pores. It is just a little hard to get out of the packaging because it's a squeeze tube and it is really thick but it is very blurring. You can see the difference putting that there versus over here. Very blurring, fills in the pores, so I do love this and we are keeping her. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I'm keeping this only to use it up. I don't use it as a primer because it's pretty much just like a Max, a Mac Fix Plus. It smells good, it's refreshing, so it's kind of just more like a pick-me-up than it is a primer, but because it's a primer water, it's with my primers. I am going to keep this. Next, I have this sample size of the Clarins Instant Smooth Perfecting Touch Primer. This is a very thick pore minimizing primer. I am almost done with this. This is upstairs in my vanity. It is very like thick, kind of like Tatcha Silk Canvas, like elf putty primer so if you want something that is thick that fills in your pores and lines this is really good next i have this mark jacobs undercover blurring coconut face primer i do still use this this is upstairs in my vanity so i've been using it a lot it does blur as well and it's hydrating so it's not going to dry the skin out i am almost done with this so i'm going to keep it and try to finish it it is that kind of silicone thick consistency that kind of reminds me you see it i mean it is very you can see how it is blurring so again anything that's blurring i'm probably going to keep it so keeping this i want to finish it next i have the good molecule silicone free priming moisturizer i was actually going to declutter my smashbox one but i didn't because i feel like this one actually Oh, sorry. This one actually is a little thicker than the Smashbox one. The Smashbox one is very liquidy. This one is a little bit thicker, so it all it does feel like a moisturizer, but I just feel like I like the texture of this one better, and it is a lot less expensive than the Smashbox one. This was sent to me by Good Molecules, and they just wanted me to try some stuff out and see if I liked it, and I really, really like this. Like, I would buy it again, so... Definitely keeping this one, and as you can see, I have put a dent in it. This is the Cover FX Gripping and Firming Primer. This came out around the time, or not long after, uh, Milk Makeup came out with their Hydro Grip. So when Milk Makeup came out with theirs, everybody and their mama started making primers that were gripping. And I tried this out, and I loved it. This one is not even open. I have one, two... I feel like I have another one somewhere. Three. Four. I don't even know if you can still get these. I think that's all of them. And yes, here's my backup of the primerizer. So I have two of those. I need... <laughs> Oh, uh, one thing I am not doing anymore is buying backups of stuff like this. This is going to be discontinued. So I think these were also on sale at the 21 Days of Beauty. It's normally like $42. So I got it half price. This one is really old. I may get rid of this one because it says these are only good for 12 months. This one's open too. Not as much in it. And then this is not opened and this is not open. So definitely keeping the ones that are not open. I think I'm going to keep this one that has more in it. And this one feels like it's almost done. Like probably down to about right here. So I'm going to throw this and keep these. This is another primer that I have backups of. I don't think I have one open. I don't think I have one open. But this is the Smashbox Photo Finish pore minimizing primer this is not open this is not open i hope these don't go bad before you open them they do say that they mattify so i'm not sure i mean they might still be okay because the patrick 
star one size one is mattifying as well and I've been using it and it's okay but I'm not gonna throw away something that's not open we're just not doing that so I'm keeping these but when I am ready to try them I need to see how they will work with my skin type next I have this physician's formula butter believe it putty primer I picked this up because I wanted to see how it compared to the elf one and the tatcha one now the tatcha one I have it, but I have a small one somewhere. I have no idea where it is. I guess I'll come across it at some point. This is a lot slicker. Like I was not expecting this to be this texture and I've kind of just been holding on to it. It smells really good. Like it smells like coconut, but I don't feel like this fills in pores. It's too slick. Like, I don't know. I tried it and remembered I didn't love it. So I'm going to get rid of this one. This is the Becca Skin Love Brighten and Blur Primer. I love this primer. Another one that I have picked up backups of. You cannot get this anymore. When it started going out of business, I started picking up any one I could find. This one's not open. So definitely keeping. This one, good, also not open. That makes me happy because I don't wanna have stuff that like a bunch of them are open. This one's probably halfway done. This used to be my primer that I would do. Well, that looks a little gross. Should I chunk it? This says 24 months. No, we're not. It just needs to be cleaned. <laughs> um, this used to be my wear test primer. So love it. It's hydrating, gives you a little glow. It's brightening, but also blurring. So keeping this. Next, I have my e.l.f. Luminous Putty Primer, and then I also have the Poreless Putty Primer. I think these are the only two of these that I have. I picked up the Luminous one because I thought it was still going to have the same texture as the Putty Primer, but it was just going to be a little glowy. It is glowy. Oh, that is really pretty. And these are really inexpensive, so I don't feel like I need to get rid of anything. I put a dent in this one. This one used to be in my beauty bag, in my travel bag, but you can see the difference. Like that one is mattifying, dries down, blurs. This one is glowy. I feel like it still kind of has that blurring feeling, but it just has a glow to it. So I am going to keep both of these. <sighs> we ain't doing too good right now. This is a sample of the Laura Geller Spackle Tinted Makeup Primer. This is old, this is 36 months. This is also something that is glowy. I feel like I have enough glowy stuff and I don't even know if they make this anymore. This is so old though, but it is very, very pretty. But it just says glowy. It doesn't say that it does any like blurring or anything like that. So I'm gonna get rid of it. This is the XX Revolution Cloud Complexion Primer. Let's take a look. I picked up, I know one of these, because I have, yeah, so this one's thicker. This texture kind of reminds me of the, which primer did I just use? The Good Molecules in terms of the texture. It's very kind of moisturizing. It doesn't feel very... Does that have a glow to it? Um, kind of reminds me of the Good Molecules primer. I need to take this out and use it because I think I'm probably going to get rid of it only because I don't think that it has the same blurring properties that I'm normally looking for. And I also have another one, if I can get it out, um, from XX Revolution. And this is the second skin primer. Now this one is very much so like the putty primers, which I like. So you gotta be careful with this one though because it will leave a white cast like nobody's business on your face. And I remember I used way too much of this when I used it, but I loved how my makeup came out. So I'm gonna keep this one. I'm gonna bring this one upstairs with me to try it out because I don't need to keep both of them. And this is more of the texture that I like, but this one's also like moisturizing and stuff. So for now, I'm gonna keep them both. This is the Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. I love this. 
I'm sure I have a backup of it somewhere if this is still in the box. This is what got me started on all of those kind of putty textures of primers. I don't know where my other one is. Or maybe I used it all and I only have this one left. So that may be a good thing, but I'm not going to open this. But I'll just show you the packaging if you haven't seen it. It is the same consistency and texture as the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer and as that um, XX Revolution one I just showed you. So definitely keeping this. These are just some little samples that I have and I need to decide if I'm gonna keep them or not. So this is the Tula Face Filter Blurring and Moisturizing. Blurring and Moisturizing we're keeping. Ulta Beauty Poreless Face Primer. I'm gonna keep this because I have talked about wanting to do a full face of Ulta and I haven't done that yet, so I'm gonna keep this one. Y'all remember this, nobody talks about this anymore. This is the Pores No More Primer. This is another very thick, not open, so we're not gonna open it. Very thick pore filling primer. I'm gonna keep this because it's not open. Professional. I have so many little samples of these and I have not bought it. I don't plan to buy it. I think this is great for blurring and filling in your pores. It is that very silicone-y kind of feel. The problem is I don't feel like this does anything if you have oily skin. I have tried this and I just feel like my makeup does not stay very well. Like it just sits on top of the primer on top of my skin. So I'm gonna get rid of these. This is done, I'm gonna chunk it. This is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I feel like I have this somewhere, like a full size, but I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, this is almost empty so I can get rid of that. This is the Lancome La Base Primer. This is very slippery, very silicone, and I know I have a full size of it somewhere. I don't need a full size and a small one yeah here's the full size one so i feel like something like this actually this might go in my travel bag keep the small one in my travel bag keep the big one in my collection this is the makeup forever step one skin equalizer this is a hydrating primer that's nice but it's almost just like my other moisturizing primers and I don't use it. So a sample I've been holding on to that I'm gonna get rid of. This is the NYX Marshmallow Primer. I just got this within the last year and I need to revisit it. I think I liked it the first time I used it, but I was glad I was able to get, actually I got this for free in and it was in an Ulta gift with purchase because I was gonna pay full price or not full price, but get the big one, which was $17, and then I saw this and that made me happy. So I'm gonna keep this one. This is the YSL Touche Claw Blur Primer. I'm gonna keep this just because it is fancy schmancy and it is blurring, which I love. This is the Fenty Beauty Instant Retouch Primer. I'm almost done with this. It was a sample. I had the big one and my top broke on it. Like I couldn't pump it out. So I ended up throwing that away. I'm gonna get rid of this. I don't know that I'm ever gonna buy this primer again. I just don't feel like I was like super in love with it to buy it again. So I'm just gonna chunk this little one. I also have this Tatcha the Silk Canvas Primer. I had to try this because everybody was trying to find out what the difference of this was with the original Silk Canvas in the little pot. I never did a comparison to say what, which one I like better, but I'm not gonna get rid of this because it's nice and I honestly just don't remember. So it's something I need to revisit, but I love Tatcha products, so definitely gonna keep it. This is a Urban Decay Mix-In Facial Oil. I don't know why it's with my primers. It is just a face oil. So I'm gonna take this out of here. This is another very thick putty kind of primer, but it's a drugstore option. This is the L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base. I found out about this one from, oh, I'm seeing her face and I can't think of her name. Um, I'll put it on the screen. But she was talking about how this is a very good dupe for like the Tatcha Silk Canvas or the Tarte Smoothing one. It does have that thicker consistency and it is a pore filling primer. Oh, that feels so nice. I'm definitely keeping this. To say it is drugstore, it is very, very expensive, so not going to get rid of it. Next, I have the Tula Brighten Up Smoothing Primer Gel. 
Have I even used this? I don't think... I don't think I've used this. So I need to take this out and bring it upstairs to see if I like it or not. I picked this up because I... Mm, I thought it was going to be similar to the um, face filter blurring moisturizing primer, the one that I showed earlier, but it is not the same thing. So I need to try this and see if it does any, it says smoothing, so it's silicone free and vitamin C. So it's supposed to help. Maybe this will help with my dark spots. I'm going to take this out and bring it upstairs. This is the Uoma Beauty Trippin' Smooth Face Primer. This is new. I just got this within the past few weeks. And again, it is another one of those Elf Putty, Tatcha, all of the above. It's not as thick though. This one reminds me, actually looking at it, this reminds me of the Tula one that I said I needed to try. And the XX Revolution one. So, ooh, you can see that that has a little bit of a glow to it. But again, I just got this one. I honestly don't even remember if I've worn it under makeup yet. I think I might have just showed it in a haul. Um, making a mess everywhere. So this one also needs to come upstairs or maybe in a first impressions video. I don't know, but I definitely need to bring this up. I've kept it in the box to remind me I have not used this yet. But yeah, you can see, hopefully you can see that at the bottom there, it does have a little bit of a reflect in it. So very promising. Up next, this is the Pacifica Vegan Collagen Skin Solve Prime Blur and Hydrate Primer. I got this at the same time as I got the Flower Beauty one. I've used it a few times and I feel like it's okay. Being that it's newer to my collection, I don't know that I want to get rid of it yet. I need to... The honest truth is I need to do my makeup more so I can try this stuff more, but I'm literally at the point where I'm doing makeup maybe three times a week, if that. And so, yeah, we're not getting a lot of use because I just keep using the same stuff over and over. So I need to start rotating my stuff out more to get better ideas. So this is going to go in the maybe pile. This is the Wet n Wild Primer Serum. It is a hydrating serum. I picked this up because I wanted to see how it compares to the Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum. And uh, yeah, I got this first. I tried it and I was like, this doesn't do anything. It just feels like a serum. It's just hydrating. I don't feel like hydrating water-based serum formulated with rose water and green tea extract refines and nourishes as it preps and primes. I think I'm going to get rid of this. Definitely going to keep the Laneige one. This is new to my collection. I tried it and I do feel like it hydrates and does everything it's supposed to do. And it also helps my makeup to last longer. So keeping this one. This is the Gucci Serum Fluid Primer Silk Priming, Silk Priming Serum. Definitely keeping this. I just got it. It's not just maybe a year ago, but it's expensive. I don't care how long it says to keep it open. Not getting rid of it. This is the Physician's Formula Illuminating Primer. This is, I just thought this was cool looking, to be honest, when I first got it. Um, because it's another glowy, oh, I haven't used this in forever, as you can tell. It's another glowy primer, but I don't feel like this did a lot in terms of like pores or anything like that. So I felt like when I put it on, I needed to put something else on top of it for my pores. Oh, do I want to get rid of it? It's pretty, but I have other stuff that is pretty. It says it has age-defying actives in it, so it has skin care. Put it with the maybes. I need to try it again to see if it helps with pores. This other stuff in here is not open, so probably not going to get rid of it, or some of it isn't. This is my Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Primer. Keeping that... This is the VDL Velvet Blur Primer. I picked this up on sale at Ulta. You got to be careful with this. This is another primer that if you use too much, it will literally look like you put powder on your face. It will be white, but it made my makeup look so good. I did a wear test of this with the foundation that goes with this line and it was flawless. So I am definitely keeping this. This is my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Definitely keeping this. It's in the shade six and a half deep. 
This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Perfector 4-in-1 Whipped Matte Makeup. I just got this and I had to pick up the shade 4 Deep because the other shade was way too light. I thought this was supposed to be like a primer, but it's almost like, y'all remember that Dream Whipped foundation back in the day? It is very similar to that, super smoothing. It's just dark, so I would have to be careful. Like if I wanted to just maybe even out my skin tone and then put a powder on top or something like that, which I don't do, um, this would be great for that. Like look how pretty that looks. Could also be because I have a bunch of primers on my hand, but I did a review, I wore this and I thought it looked really, really pretty, so I'm gonna keep it. This is also new. This is the Rare Beauty Always an Optimist Illuminating Primer. It says it has ultra fine pearls for a lit from within glow. I got this from BoxyCharm and I don't think I've used it yet. So not getting rid of it. This is the Tula Filter Primer Blurring and Pri Moisturizing Primer. So this is the same as that. Is it the same one? So this says face filter. This says filter, primer, blurring and moisturizing primer. I think it's the same. Oh, but yeah, so this one, okay, so this one is clear. Oh, this hasn't been used yet, damn it. Um, this one does not have a color and it ain't gonna come out because I wanna show you, there it goes. Um, this one doesn't have a color to it, it's just white. So you don't really see, oh, I got crap on my fingers. This is clear. This does not have a color, I think. Let me get a makeup wipe. So let's try this again. I've washed my hands, so we'll do one little, this pump is making me mad. I guess it was separated. So I'm gonna get rid of this. Um, this is what it looks like. So it doesn't have a color to it. It is pretty clear. Not sure what that is, because like I said, this wasn't even open yet, but it is making a mess. Um, and then this one says it is for medium to deep skin tones. It's in the shade Magic Hour. Why do they put these pumps on here? Oh, well this one's clear too. Does it turn a color? Oh, huh. Okay, well I haven't used this and this doesn't say anything about a skin tone, but I guess I need to pull this out and use it because I saw this one, the bigger one said that it was for deeper skin tones, but I didn't know why. This one doesn't say that, but it looks like it is. So I'm gonna take this out to use pretty soon. This is also new, so I'm not gonna get rid of it. This is the Beekman 1802 Milk Primer. It says Weightless Pore Perfecting Primer with SPF. This comes in a little dropper. What's the expiration date on here? Because I am pretty sure I've had this and have not used it, so I probably need to take it out and use it while the SPF is still good, but it's cute. Where's the expiration date? I don't know, but I'm gonna take it out. That's a, so this doesn't even look like, it looks like there's like this much in here, the way this is made. Oh, expiration 1023. Oh, I got a while. Okay, so she can wait. Cause I have other stuff that has sunscreen in it that I need to use, but definitely keeping this. This is also new. This is the Jane Iredell Smoothing Affair Brightening Primer. Uh, don't think this has been opened. Oh, it has. Okay, so let's see. This kind of feels like my Good Molecules one. And there goes that slip. So yes, I can see this feels kind of like a mixture of gripping and smoothing. A tiny, tiny bit of, not tacky, but it's just, it's not drying down to that powdery feel of a smoothing one. And it smells like, vi like vitamin C, like citrusy. So definitely keeping this one. This is the Touch and Soul Icy Sherbet Sherbet Primer, silicone free and cooling effect. This is kind of reminding me of the Tula Gel one that I had earlier. I feel like 
I bought this on BoxyCharm, so I got it at a super steep discount. It says that it's cooling, but like, what does it do? Is it pore filling? Does it do any of that good stuff? Because if not, I don't care if it's cooling. Like, I need you to do something for my face. This is not good to be trying with nails on, I can tell you that much. So, yeah. Is this silicone free? Does it say that? It does, but it still kind of has that slip. So it does feel, why is it peeling? I have so much stuff on my hands, so I don't know. It looks like it'll be blurring. That dried down really fast. I don't know. I need to try all this stuff. So overwhelming. It says pretty filter. So it's supposed to be like a pore filling filter effect. I love anything that says that, so I'm keeping it. This is also from BoxyCharm. This is a Ciate London Dewy Skin Vitamin C Glass Glow Primer. I think I tried this. Probably so, because this little thing just fell out. Definitely has my skin looking shiny and glassy. Does it dry down? Because we need to see pore filling. We need to see... Uh, I don't feel like this is going to dry down. It feels very slippery. I need to take this out and try it. I, based on my initial feel, I don't think I'm going to keep this. Because I don't see how it would actually... Luminous glow with a dewy glass-like finish. Hyaluronic acid, moisture bu boosting. So it doesn't do anything for pores. So we'll have to see. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Illuminate Glow Primer. So all these glowy primers came in whenever I was on Accutane and my face was really dry and I was just trying to find anything and everything for me not to look dead. I feel like I swatched this. I don't really rem remember using it. Ooh, that looks like it's gonna be pretty. Ooh, I need to use this. I'm gonna take this one out, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep her. Down to the wire, got this last little, little, uh, got this last box here. Uh, let's see. Mr. Matt Givenchy, this is so old from Glambot. I'm not even opening it. I'm gonna throw this away. LYS Secure Skin Gripping Serum Primer Keeping. I just got this recently. Pure No Filter Primer in Bronze. Another Blurring Photography Primer. Let's see. Ooh, like the color. Making a mess. Oh, wow. That is really bronzy and really shiny. Interesting. I'm going to take this out to try it because I have not tried it yet. I don't even remember swatching it. I love that it does not. I guess I did because I remember it wasn't like super glittery or anything like that. I just didn't remember it being that dark, even though it says bronze. So keeping this is the Believe Beauty Pretty and Primed Stay Put Makeup Primer. This works really well. I used it with the Believe Beauty Foundation and I loved it. So keeping this is the Master Prime Hydrating and Smoothing Primer from Maybelline. Keeping this. This is the Revlon Photo Ready Prime Plus Perfecting and Smoothing. This used to be my wear test foundation for a while too. Absolutely love this. I think it works well. It is smoothing, helps fill in the pores, and it's a great drugstore option. I don't think I've tried this. NYX, NYX, whatever, High Glass Face Primer. Okay, it's open. Why for do I do this to myself? Kind of giving me the vibes of the blur, the pure one I just did. Ooh, that's pretty. I will say right off the bat, I do see a little bit of glitter chunks in there compared to the other one. I did not see that. Just tiny, tiny, tiny little reflex. I guess I need to take this out to try it because I don't need to keep both of them. This is the Milani Prime at Perfection Face Primer. This is hydrating. Does it say smoothing? Primes, hydrates, reduces redness, and minimizes the look of pores. I think I was holding on to this one because I wanted to see, I wanted to have some good drugstore options. This is just like a moisturizer. 
I'm gonna get rid of it. This is the Sephora Beauty Amplifier Pore, Targeted Pore Primer. So this is one of those like milk makeup blur sticks, very similar, if I can open it. Very similar, just a nice little stick that you can rub it on your face. So I just got this, I'm gonna keep it. This is the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer. I don't even remember when I got this, to be honest. I know when it came out, it was supposed to be a dupe for the e.l.f., not e.l.f., um, Milk Hydro Grip. And so I wanted to try it, and then I got it, and I don't even know if I've tried it yet. So, guess I need to take it out to try it. I don't remember this saying anything about smoothing, though, so... We'll see. This is the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer, Prime on the Go. This is definitely one of the pore priming smoothing ones. Gonna keep it. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Glow Lock. It is an illuminating primer, but I, it does say that it is long wear. Smooths and refines. I wonder. Let's see, glowy, preps, blurs, hydrates, and smooth. So I'm gonna keep this. I don't remember using it, but I do wanna keep some drugstore options in my collection for when I do drugstore looks. This is the Wet n Wild Water Drop Primer. This is just a friggin' moisturizer. That is all cream to water formula, hydrates and locks down moisture. Here we go, blurs the look of pores. That is what gets me every time. Hmm. This is in coconut, smells like coconut. I guess I need to take it out and try it. I feel like this is probably gonna go in the trash because I don't remember any impressions of it to keep it, but we'll see. This is the ColourPop All-Star Matte and Blur Primer. Is this open? It is. Ugh, ugh, hold on. I wonder how old this is. Cause she is separating. I know when you don't use stuff for a while, that happens, so that doesn't necessarily mean that it has gone bad, but it definitely means I have not used it enough. I'm gonna get rid of it. I don't know. I don't know how long I've had this. I'm not pressed for... It doesn't smell or anything, but... I don't know if they even still make that, so it's fine. This is, there we go, the Milk Makeup Blur Stick. Definitely keeping this. I use this in my cheek area to help fill in pores. I'm wondering, I feel like sometimes, and I don't know, it's because I always mix stuff whenever I do, like trying stuff out first impressions, if this breaks me out because it clogs my pores, but I don't know, because I use too much stuff. So I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> Just got this. This is the Shiseido Synchro Skin Soft Blurring Primer. Keeping this. This is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. Just got this. Keeping it. This is the Milk Makeup What Are You Luminous Blur Stick. I feel like I remember trying this. It is the same as the Blur Stick, but in a luminous version. Ooh, I'm keeping that. I found this one at Marshall's for five bucks. This is the, what brand is this? Beauty Bakery, the Butter Hydra Silk Primer. This is so good, so good. It blurs, it hydrates, it helps your makeup stay. Like everything it says it's gonna do, it does. Absolutely love this. I just got this. This is the Milk Makeup Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer. It's supposed to help with pores and also mattifying. I don't think I've tried this yet, so definitely keeping. This is the Dermalogica Hydra Blur Primer. Hydrating, blurring. This was a wear test primer as well for a while. Almost done with it, so gonna keep it and try to finish it. This is also newer, the Fashion Fair Skin Priming Serum. I think I tried this when I tried the Fashion Fair foundation, the cream to powder one, and I don't remember. So I'm gonna hold on to this. I need to form an opinion about it. This was very surprising. I found this at like a, a dollar store or Dollar General or I don't know, but it was super cheap and it is really, really good. This is the Hard Candy Pore Defense Primer Serum. This definitely minimizes the look of your pores like it says, and I felt like it helped my makeup last. 
So definitely keeping this. I think it was a Dollar Tree, to be honest. It was really inexpensive. This is the L'Oreal Luminous Serum Tint. Now, I bought this because it was supposed to be a good dupe for, like, the Flawless Filter and, like, all these other glowy primers. I got this on Amazon because they don't even make it anymore. And when I got it... It smelled super, super strong. And I was like, is this supposed to smell like this? It's pretty, but I can't with this smell. So I'm going to get rid of this. It literally smells like straight chemicals and paint. It is so bad. Next, we have the Tarte Poreless Mattifying Primer. Not open, so not getting rid of that. Okay, so this is the First Beauty Ultra Repair Hyaluronic Hydrating Primer for sensitive skin. Is she open? No, yes. Oh, okay, haven't used this yet, so I'm gonna put her up. I think this one is open. I thought it was the same. This is the Coconut Skin Smoothing Smoothie Primer Moisturizer. This is by First Aid Beauty, and it's supposed to be really good for sensitive skin. I don't think it says pore minimizing or anything like that. Is this open? No, yes. Oh, that makes me happy. I feel like it's not as wasteful. <laughs> All right, this is the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Blurring Primer. Silicone free, this should not be open. I'm hoping this isn't open. Um, I think I picked this up recently, so I am not, yes, not open, not opening. Needless to say, I know I don't need any more primers. I don't know if I have any more that I bought recently. Don't judge me. This is the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer. I like this. I have tried it. It is fairly old in my collection, but it works really, really well. It's smoothing and hydrating, pore perfecting, keeping. I told you guys, eyeshadow, primer, foundation are the top three things that I always want to try. So that's why we have so many. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer. Have I used this? No, this has not been used yet. Not going to use it yet. This is the Bite Beauty Change Making Skin Op Change Maker Skin Optimizing Primer. I'm gonna get rid of this. I remember trying it and feeling like it didn't do anything for me. Oh, guess I'm lying. This ain't even open. I'm talking about the foundation. I did not like the foundation, but I haven't tried the primer yet. So, guess I'm not gonna get rid of it yet. <laughs> this is the Too Faced Proactive Nourishing Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. This is just a moisturizing primer. Is this used? Not used yet. Not going to open it. This is the Filtered Effects Blurring Primer from Thrive Cosmetics. Love this. Just did a review on my channel. Not getting rid of it. This is the Smashbox Vitamin Glow Primer with vitamins B, C, and E. This is just for a hydrating glow. Smells like vitamin C. I need to just take these out and use them as a moisturizer. Being that it has all these vitamins in it, I feel like I could like sleep in this and it doesn't necessarily need to be used as a primer and it will probably get more use like under a primer, but not as a primer by itself because this is not blurring. So I don't feel like it's going to be enough to put under my makeup. This is the Sephora Smooth and Blur Primer. Just recently did... Well, I don't think the video's up yet, but it should be soon. This is the blurring primer, Smooth and Blur. I did a full face of Sephora and this was in it and I loved it. Almost done. This is the Estee Lauder Matte Perfecting Primer. Is this open? Ooh. I don't even remember using this and the fact that it is like blown up like this and just I feel like this needs to, I'm going to get rid of this. I don't even know what's happening here. I am I take some risks with my face, but when I open something and it like this already feels like tight, like it's it, it expanded or something, I don't know. I think it's it needs to go. This is the Eborium Extra Matte. We got, you got to go. We don't do that no more. And then this I just recently got is the Airbrush Vanish Primer from Hourglass. This is fairly new, keeping this. Okay, so we are through all of them, I think. These are the ones that are not open. So we have one, 
15 that are not open that I am not getting rid of. And I'm going to figure out where I'm going to stash these to try to keep them separate so that my main stash that I have and I'm rotating through does not get overflowing because these have not even been opened yet. So definitely keeping all of those. This is what is upstairs in my vanity right now. So we have one, two, three, four, five. I do count this six, seven, eight that are currently upstairs. And I'm probably going to swap these out right now for some of the other ones I said I need to try. Let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to do, well, let me finish counting. I'll do that later. All right. So this is my first one that's empty, my first tray. So I'm trying to put drugstore here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So we have 12 of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, I'm just going to put these back and count at the end because now Hello Scout Okay, this is not organized I'm going to organize it in a little while I just want to get this video done so these are my maybes that I need to try out to see if I'm going to keep them. So we are just going to put them in a section by themselves. And then this is what I'm getting rid of. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I feel like I don't even know if that makes a dent, but yeah, that is what we're doing. I also found one more when I was putting stuff up. This is not open yet. This is the Ulta Beauty Nourishing Face Primer. It is a primer oil. I am keeping it is not open and I do plan on using it one of these days. I'm sorry. Yeah, it says Nourishing Face Primer. CoQ10 Oil Serum. So add it to the count of not used yet. All right, guys. So that is it for the video. I was going to go back in the beauty room and try to do a fancy outro, but look, I'm tired. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I realized I didn't get rid of a lot, but for me to get rid of anything is a huge step in the right direction. That's what I was going to say. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Swatch and foundations. I thought this wasn't going to be a good match. This is the Hourglass, the new foundation in shade 15. But she looks pretty good. I forgot what this is. Oh, this is what I have on my face, believe it or not. This is the Patrick Ta new complexion product. That's just the cream, no powder on top. These are the Lady Gaga's. This is the shade I picked up, 450. This is 460. And then what you can barely see over here is the Valentino. Is that the name of it? I feel like it is. I don't remember. Whatever. Barbara, my brain is dead, guys. I'll put it on the screen, but that's that foundation. I'm pretty sure it's Valentino. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment, let me know if any of these are your favorites. What type of primers do you like? Any of them that you're interested in hearing more of an in-depth review on? Let me know some of your favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, I hope you decided to join the family. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.